I'm warning you guys right now, if you ever buy a 2019 and older Kia, you are absolutely stupid. I sold this Kia Optima with only 65,000 miles two months ago and the customer just left after Kia told them there's nothing wrong with it, that they're crazy, that the engine is absolutely fine. I just bought it back for what the customer paid for it and probably gonna lose a lot of money. I've never shared my core values to anyone publicly, but I'm gonna share them with you in this video because I think it's very important to know where I'm coming from. My first core value is don't f the customer. My next one is be the change you seek. We back our customers. We put others before ourselves. We win as a team and most importantly, don't suck. And since we're mentioning our core values, the last one I love, don't suck. And uh, that's where Tom's Keys comes in. They sponsored this video because they can save you up to 70% on key replacement over the dealership. That means you don't have to spend time in the dealership, you save a ton of money, and they even send you your key and controller to program the key right with everything. So if you need a key for your car or your friend's car or whatever the case may be, Check out the link in the description and thanks Tom's Keys for sponsoring this video. In this video, we're gonna focus on number three of my core values and that's we back the customer. You guys know a few months ago, we took in a Kia Sorento. We couldn't get an engine for it, it was blown up. It cost us $8,000 to sell it at auction as a wholesale unit with disclosed information. And uh, I said I was never going to buy a Kia again. When I worked for Chevrolet, I was primarily a new car customer. I've always been a new car buyer. That's why I bought my 2022 ZR2 Silverado new rather than buying a used one. That's just me personally. I like buying new things. I've bought used cars in the past. My Camaro that I bought was used. Our Tesla we bought was used. I'm not scared to buy used things if the value Value is right, but I typically like the latest and greatest stuff, so I have always bought new. When I sold Chevrolet, I kind of smidgily was just a minor bit jealous with Kia because I always think they had good looking cars and they had some advanced technology that Chevrolet doesn't. Well, now that I'm a used car dealer and I see all these engine problems, you gotta be a moron to buy a Kia, including myself. So prior to having that 2016 Kia Sorento that I mentioned about, we bought a 2013 Kia Optima with super low mileage, 65,000, which was about 40,000 under the average market. And we had it for a little bit of time and it was a great vehicle. We sat on that car just a little bit too much. And then one day, all of a sudden, just out of the blue, nobody called us, nobody did anything. They just pull in, here comes a really super nice Kia Optima, I think it was an Optima hybrid. Mom and the son gets out, son's looking for a car. He saw the Kia Optima on our website. He lives right down the street from us and said he wanted to buy it. They drove the car, they liked the car, they bought the car, they even wrote on our wall that we made it easy. That's my goal. Buying a car doesn't have to suck and we wanna make sure that we uh, take care of our customers, but unfortunately Kia is putting that to the test in our very first year of business. All right, so we are coming out to the Kia. It has sat here for right at about 24 hours. So we're gonna hop in here and start it up and we're gonna see if there is any blue smoke that comes out of here. Now, as I'm looking at it here, we can see that the exhaust is pretty black. So uh, by, yeah, look, look at all that. And these are technicians, supposedly factory trained technicians at Kia that are basically saying that there's nothing wrong with this video or this vehicle. So look, look at all that black, black smoke coming out of there, soot, whatever you want to call that. And as so many people like to say, I'm just a car salesman, that's some sort of derogatory uh, terminology. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to sit here and get anything out here. So we don't have any blue smoke Oh, there we go. Uh, no, I would say that's not blue smoke. It is uh, like 27 degrees today. So I would say that that is normal right there. I would say that's nothing crazy. Oh, there's some blue smoke. There's some blue smoke coming out. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Of course, the guys at Kia couldn't duplicate this. They just put a knock sensor in it and said, nope, it's fine. There's no issues with it at all. So we're going to go drive this and see what happens. Now, I take this over to uh, Bachman and myself. It did have a little bit of loss of power, and I'll tell you a little bit more what we did here in the video, but let's come up on the road here, and we're gonna floor it. Oh, no power. Look at all that blue smoke. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They couldn't reduplicate that. The factory trained technicians at Kia could not reduplicate that. How hard is that to reduplicate? I'm 10 feet out from my dealership. 
I mean, how, I mean, I'm a little agitated now because this thing is probably gonna cost me somewhere in the neighborhood of $14,000. But this is, this is what the factory trained technician at Kia has came up with that says, oh, we can't reduplicate the issue. I don't understand it. I recorded that portion of the video the day after I'm, of what I'm gonna get ready to tell you here now. And I was gonna re-record it because I thought I was maybe showing a little bit too emotion, a little bit maybe too anger. And then I showed it to Rich, my wife and Grant. And they're like, no, leave it in. That's good stuff. People will get how serious you are about this, the empathy that you wanna show your customers. And it's gonna show that we do exactly what our third core value is and back our customers. Now, the customer has already taken his car to Kia. I have taken the car to Bachman Hyundai because Kia and Hyundai are the same. Because my customer has an extended warranty. We are covered. My biggest infamous saying is a customer with an extended warranty is a happy customer. But when Kia just doesn't even wanna back their cars for any reason, you can't do anything about it. That's absolutely insane. So. We had the customer take it to Kia, the manufacturer. He got hung up on them when he tried to call them. The general manager of the Kia store next to me never returned my phone call. I reached out to him on LinkedIn, never called me back. And I'm telling him I'm calling from the dealership. I'm the owner of the dealership. And how this Kia dealership doesn't have voicemails beyond me. They had to take handwritten messages. But this customer had an extended warranty. So Kia has now bought up all of these engines for these cars and you can't get an engine. You just simply can't get one. So if one blows up, unless it's under warranty, Kia is not standing behind the car in any way, shape or form. So now you have to go get a used engine. And I don't have to go on and talk about a rant about this, that buying a used engine is a bad idea. You're just replacing a Band-Aid with another used Band-Aid. That's just dumb. So I have this 2013 Kia Optima out back as you see, and now we are forced to deal with it and I took my customer out of it. I'm backing my customer up 100%. I'm putting them before us and now I essentially own that car for $14,000 and I just gotta send it to the auction and see how much money I can get out of it. The great news is, is I sold them a used Toyota Camry that's gonna be absolutely epic for them. It had 99,000 miles on it and we know the reliability and dependability of Camry, it just won't go bad. I've talked to the customer since, he's extremely happy, he's glad that we took care of him, that we backed him up, but uh, I'm telling you, if you ever buy a Kia ever again, you gotta be the dumbest person in the world.